Okay, hey there. Uh, welcome to the third and perhaps final incarnation of Fallout Loot Crate unboxing. And I say perhaps final not because Loot Crate has stopped tormenting us with uh, fun toys that we must have if we play too much Fallout, but because I did cancel the crate for my own sad purposes. But if uh, the financial gods smile upon me at all in the next month or two, I might change that. So, once again, we have what apparently is supposed to be the Brotherhood of Steel themed crate, which, as I have exhaustively cataloged in previous videos, they're not my favorite guys. However, I will say that in 4, as of late, I did travel enough with Paladin Dance that he became uncomfortably fond of my character, whereas I, uh, in my headcanon, was merely tolerating him for practical purposes, even if I felt a little bad for him. Which is basically how I feel in actuality. Uh, companions are very serious business. NPCs are very serious business. Oh wait! What do we got here? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. So maybe I was wrong about this Brotherhood of Steel thing. Nuka World shirt. I just, I'm playing survival mode right now. I just tried to go to Nuka World because I was kind of bored. And once I got there and got to what they call the gauntlet and died 30 times, I looked it up and everyone was saying it's the most difficult fallout since uh, the New Vegas DLC Dead Money, which is great in retrospect, but my head exploded many, many times when I played it on hardcore mode. And as most people know, Fallout 4 survival mode is hardcore mode on New Vegas to the extreme. And so, to my delight, I realized I had a previous save so I could escape Nuka World without trying to turn on God mode or infinite stim packs or some kind of thing that I need to learn how to do just because I can, but would be completely cheating. And so, I love this design because it's creepy old-timey cartoon, which is the bread and butter of the Fallout aesthetic in my book. Uh, but now I feel like I really have to go back to Nuka World at some point. But I'm already not good enough to go to the Glowing Sea. I'm level 31 on survival mode, and I feel like a badass until I go too far south <laughs> or I try to go to the Glowing Sea. It is a tough, uh, it's a tough gig. It's a tough game, survival mode, but it's so much fun though. Oh, look. Okay, so I was misinformed. It is not, it is not Brotherhood of Steel. It's clearly very new, maybe there's no theme. I don't know why I decided I'd heard that. That is sexy. I do approve of that. That is good stuff. Alright. Oh! We've got Piper. Everyone's favorite sassy journalist who isn't me. Um, looking a little odd, as usual. But that's a pretty good... <laughs> Even people who whine about Fallout 4 on uh, Reddit subthreads, I think in my experience most of them admit that the companions are pretty good. I haven't traveled with Piper extensively, but again, journalist companion. Like, it's hard to resist that. It's just also... She has a lot of stiff competition in terms of companions with Cogsworth, with dog meat. Any dog meats are good. And of course with my beloved Nick Valentine. But, um, you know, I, as, a, as a journalist, I appreciate her commentary about how people trying to kill her means she's doing her job, you know. So I intend to go back to her and travel some more. Um, we finish what we started. I think I shoved her off in the... Uh, the movie theater, which is a, is, a, is one of the more fun settlements. More Nuka World. So that's the theme we're going with here. And they have all these pins, and they're always funny. Um, this one is Vault Boy chugging merrily 
Uh, this is pretty good. Ah, oh, these crates, these crafty crates. They, I cannot, I can't resist them. I've never in my life understood the point of a drink cozy, but this one says Nuka Cola and Quantum. So, obviously, I suddenly understand. All right, so here is the continued saga of the power armor figure. Where they're trying to get you to get all the crates so you can build the power armor figure. They're obviously, well, I was gonna say they're obviously trying to get you with the um, the companion figures, but the thing is, the very first one was Fox from Fallout 3, and that's as I said how they got me because Fox is is my jam. And, you know, there, there isn't enough quality merch about him. I appreciate that um, they're doing the power armor figure in pieces, which is a little cheap, but it's really sturdy and it's really nice. And if you wanted to make some sort of scene with, like, you know, we've all found remnants of power armor, like, usually there's some Brotherhood of Steel signal beeping tragically. Like, you can, you know, you can work with this. You can, you can do something with just some power armor legs. So, there, none of the pieces have been sort of, you know, inconse inconsequential. Like, um, they're kind of fun even on their own. But obviously, they're trying to get you to build a whole, get the whole figure, uh, build the thing. And I understand that, and I do want to, so they're getting me. And, uh... Yeah, it's looking pretty good here. So. Here is our little... These things always tell you what's in your crate, but they're pretty solid and they have a fun image. We have the the Nuka Girl pinup, um, who is also some sort of space explorer, but with uh, a barren stomach, which is really funny. I like that a lot. Um, and so, and then we have the inside of the box, because they're always, I never, I never bother to try to turn them inside out, I know it can be done, um, not even with a Nick Valentine box have I attempted it yet, but, uh, we got a, we got a Piper box, she kind of looks like Carmen Sandiego, or is she the Silver Shroud? I don't think so. I haven't gotten the Silver Shroud uh, whole thing yet. Um, so yeah, I don't know where I got the Brother of Steel theme thing. I like... This, this interests me more. Um, I'm going to crack open briefly the Piper figure and show it off. Piper? <laughs> Real. What am I saying? Uh, a little more shrewd. But I do like the, uh, her whole aesthetic in the game with the uh, Oliver Twist journalist is, is pretty good. You know, the little cap and stuff. Uh, I should find it more aspirational. And there is also our bonus. <gasps> our little zapper. It's, oh, that's very cunning. I could use that for all sorts of very important things in life. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but I'll find it out. And once again, there's a little uh, vault door stand. And at some point on Reddit, I saw some delightful conspiracy theories about what that could possibly mean. And how, I don't know, it meant New Vegas 2 was happening like in five minutes, so we should all get ready. Video game conspiracies are fun. I'm kind of new to video games, or rather, video games beyond, you know, N64 ones circa 2001. So, I don't know. I'm just new to the whole getting hyped for video games lifestyle. Um, so, I, as soon as I finally finish for realsies Fallout 4, though I love taking my time, maybe I'll get on the hype train for Fallout 5 and for New Vegas 2, because um, I don't even remember the game that people have been waiting for so much that it's like a, uh, it's like a giant internet joke. Anyway. Um, before I go, I'm just gonna stare at Wasteland Vacation. Now, to be pedantic, why would it be Wasteland Vacation? Maybe I haven't explored Nuka World enough yet. Um, the capital Wasteland is obviously in DC in 3. Um, but 
uh, that got me with this aesthetic pretty hard, so... Um, I don't know if I'll feel like a fraud if I don't go back to Nuka World now, but... That shit's tough, so... I'm gonna wait a little while. But in the meantime, I will be wearing my cap. And perhaps my shirt, because, uh... Once the merch thinks, uh... Oh, it's... Once I think the merch has, uh, let me down, it pulls me back in. You, you, you know what I'm trying to terribly paraphrase. So, I don't know. Um, I might have to, uh, scrounge up $44 in the next eight weeks because I just love getting presents about Fallout that I sent to myself. And I spent so much on Fallout merch anyway that no one will buy it for me. So, again, we need Loot Crate. Loot Crate is there just to uh, let us send ourselves presents. Thematic presents about Fallout. And now, if you'll excuse me, I am going to go back to my game. Um, and I'm not sure what quest I'm on. I think I'm trying to find Eddie Winter's holotapes so I can help out my buddy Nick Valentine. Because even even without mods, somehow I do believe he'll love me yet, but probably not because he is a cyborg and he's not real. But that's okay. He's still my beloved.